The thing that is really hard and really amazing is giving up on being perfect and beginning the work of becoming yourself. Anna Quindlen. It's said that artists are their own worst critics. <laughs> I think most people are, artists or not. This said, a lot of us creative souls are inherently passionate, have higher sensibilities or sensitivities than others, and tend to have very high expectations of ourselves. We chose to pursue art, whether as a hobby or as a profession, because we're absolutely obsessed with our craft. And our creations not only take time to develop, but they are a part of us. Every time we share something that we've spent time creating, we're taking down those walls and we're being vulnerable. There's also the fact that with art, there isn't any objective measure that will tell us whether our work is good or bad. And even though we can look for feedback, the decision to take in that feedback will always ultimately be up to us and us alone. Add to this the fact that nowadays, social media shoves other artists' amazing work and perfect lifestyles in our faces day in and day out, and it's really no surprise that we have unusually high expectations for everything we create, as well as for our productivity levels, even when we're just getting started on our journeys. Furthermore, there is no magic guidebook to tell us when we're ready to share, to sell, to call ourselves artists. It's up to us to make these decisions to allow ourselves to fully give into our art journeys and to boldly pursue a path most people would consider uncommon. Just a few years ago, I would have let all of this overwhelm me and stop me from delving into this journey that my heart had been asking me to explore for a very long time. I would have allowed my self-doubt and my fear to keep me from taking action. I just didn't think I had it in me. And the constant negative voices, of course, they didn't help either. Every time a drawing or a painting wasn't turning out the way I initially envisioned it or when I noticed my progress wasn't coming fast enough, I berated myself with negative self-talk. These voices were telling me that everything I was doing was mediocre at best, that I would never be able to reach higher levels as an artist or develop anything unique, and that it was about time to accept that I was just not an artist. They told me that the supplies I invested my hard-earned cash on, as well as the time and effort spent on this practice were nothing but a waste, and that I should be using my time on something more productive, like doing the dishes or cleaning the kitty litters. I mean, nowadays, I'm all like, let those dust bunnies roll if it means more time creating, but back then, Man, <laughs> the guilt was real. I wasn't even allowing myself to fully enjoy learning, growing, and creating because I wanted absolutely everything to be perfect and every single minute spent on working on my art to go towards creating perfection. I didn't want to accept that I was a beginner and expected masterpieces even when I was just getting started with a brand new medium that I had just spent a few months on. I now know that what I needed so desperately back then, because I was scared to give into this new journey that was considered unusual by so many people, and because I had such a low self-image, what I needed was to hear other people's voices telling me that I was doing the right thing pursuing this path and that I was obviously an artist. The fact is, I needed to hear it from someone else because I didn't believe it myself. I was looking for other people's acceptance and approval because I didn't feel I was enough or had the right to pursue something like this. I didn't feel I was worthy of calling myself an artist. But then one day I had this realization that life is extremely short and that we only have one to live. We have only one life to discover who we are and to set meaningful goals that will bring us happiness and fulfillment. We have one life to grow in the areas that we're passionate about. And we have one life to bring something into the world that will hopefully bring light to other people's lives. I also realized nobody was ever going to come save me or tell me what I needed to hear. And on the rare occasion that someone did make a positive comment about one of my pieces, 
that moment would be fleeting and I would need another hit of external praise or validation soon after. I realized that if I wanted to fully enjoy the artist's journey, which I really, really did, it was all going to be up to me. It was going to be up to me to heal myself from the inside out so that I would be able to fully give in with my heart and with my mind and with my soul. I had to build a deep belief within myself that I had it in me to create awesome things and positively impact other people's lives through my work. After lots of learning about how our mind works, I realized it was doable. We're not born with with all these limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. These surge and grow as we go through different life experiences that mark us throughout those developmental years and throughout our lives. And without knowing, we perpetuate these negative loops and thinking patterns that affect all aspects of our lives. They have an impact on the actions we take towards achieving our personal goals. As human beings, most of our thoughts and even our actions are automatic. We're going to continue acting and reacting automatically, meaning if we don't make it a point to change and start implementing strategies, we're likely going to continue being stuck in these thinking and acting patterns. Negative thoughts and negative self-talk lead to having a negative self-image, which leads to inaction and all sorts of stuckness. And as artists, these thoughts have a huge impact on our motivation to keep going. If we don't do something about them, feelings of unworthiness, disappointment, frustration, and even guilt will most likely than not continue popping up. You know that massive consistent action you have to take to progress artistically? That confidence you need when you're hitting a new canvas or sheet of watercolor paper? Good luck with that if you have a negative self image. I've said it before and I'll say it again, whether you think you can or can't, you're right. So what did I do to start changing my mindset into a more supportive one? Firstly, I started catching myself when these negative thoughts and voices came up and I realized that these were just thoughts. Thoughts and feelings are not truths. And a lot of the time, if you think about it, they hold absolutely no logic to them, such as wanting to create masterpieces when you just picked up a paintbrush or wanting a new painting to turn out perfectly when you've done absolutely no planning or preparation for it. I started replacing thoughts like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I'll never be able to reach so-and-so's level with This didn't turn out perfectly, but hey, I did a great job on blank. Or no one bought this piece because I absolutely suck. To I am so proud of myself for having put my art out there and making it available for people to purchase. That took a ton of courage. Another thing I did was I started replacing all of that negativity with positive affirmations. I did a whole video on this quite a while back, sharing 10 positive affirmations for artists. I'm gonna make sure to leave a link to that video down below in the text section in case you'd like to learn more about positive affirmations and would like to check it out. Another thing I did, and this may sound a little bit strange, but I started holding a sense of compassion for this part within myself that was simply trying to keep me from getting hurt. These thoughts come up because it's our brain trying to keep us safe and within our comfy comfort zones. Finally, when you hear this harsh inner critic pop up again, ask yourself if you would ever tell this kind of thing to a friend. If a friend was in your situation, what words would you offer to make them feel better, to cheer them on? Most likely than not, those words would never be what you're telling yourself. Value your efforts. Realize the immense progress you've made just by taking action towards your dreams and stepping out of your comfort zone consistently. Chances are you're not even realizing the immense progress you've made and the immense courage it has taken to get to where you're at right now. Work on filling up your cup, on being your own cheerleader. Remember, your negative self-talk crumbles when you take action. As you move past those voices and take action consistently, as you continue working on shifting your mindset, they get weaker and weaker. You have so much to bring into the world. And if you've been showing up consistently and putting in an effort to grow as an artist, you deserve to be here. You are an artist. It's up to you to decide to be happy and to enjoy this beautiful path. And remember that everything starts with loving and valuing yourself.
All right, everyone, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something new, or that you found it inspiring. If you did like it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support the work that I am doing here on YouTube and allows more artists to get to know about my channel. Thank you so very much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys and read every single one of your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can see you next week for another video and stay inspired. Bye guys.